Hello, welcome to the All or Not podcast. Our official sponsors are KR Couriers and Transport Limited. This is a Northwest based courier company delivering all across the UK. They can assist in home moves and removals to large, heavy, and bulky items, collections, and drop offs. Fast, safe, and reliable deliveries. Please get in touch for a free quote. You'll find all the information within the description. Thank you. Hello everybody, welcome back to the All or Not On podcast and today's special guests don't need any introduction, Frankie and Darren, so it's been a while since we've had you on here, Darren, it's been a I've few years. I've changed a lot Bill to be honest with you lad, I've changed a lot, I found myself, found myself within, found my chakra lad, I'm all about going up you know the mountains and that, oh, yeah. and getting nice water therapy and that, I'm all about that now Bill, so <laughs> that's why I've got the Buddha with us today and being a bit of incense in the room. Darren, are you serious? I'm serious lad, yeah, bad, bad. Fucking kid, it's bad air, bad air, what what what's it called, I'm saying in the room. <laughs> <laughs> is this a wind up? No, no honestly, lads, I found the myself. That's, here? that's buzzed that, lads. Fucking hell, mate. Frankie, come on, keep the zen down, mate. Oh, my you know God. That's serious. Lads, I'm fucking serious. I found myself, lads. Went, went up mad. November yeah. and okay. found myself, didn't I, Bill? But in his boxes, you know, because it's cold water. Yeah, oh, ran right. up there in my undies so with like the lads. So like a Steve Seagal kind of thing. Mate, I'm just new. I'm brand new. I'm not going to give oh, anyone well, any stick. I'll be serious, all you know. Not giving anyone respect any respect to anyone's beliefs, but uh, I thought you were messing. Oh well, fucking hell! This feels like purple. Like he's cocking me, gobby, mate. <laughs> 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 the shower block and what? <laughs> Have a fuck, mate. Fuck all that. Uh, Blow that uh, thing out. <laughs> I'm fucking right off. <laughs> Here's my ah. zen gone out of the window. Isn't it? <laughs> fucking leg that, mate. So, what have you been up to, Frank? Been busy, you know, been doing great, really. Yeah. Took a long time to get over the COVID. But as we were saying before, off camera, we're busy now. We're earning good money. We're all over the UK. We're doing great. Packed houses again. Whereas 18 months, two years ago, straight after the COVID, took about 18 months for everyone to get back on their feet. Yeah. But even so, everyone even that's watching this, everybody knows now what you've just said off camera. You're going into shops now. I had a look at a fucking razor. A Gillette razor. 25 fucking pound. Everything's gone through the roof. Yeah. So you've just got to be, you've still got to be very careful about how much you spend. And people are still a little bit cagey, you know, about buying. They'll buy the tickets and things, but, you know, any deals are on or two for one, buying the early bird tickets. But I think people are coming out now where they weren't coming out. Yeah. You know, so, which is great. You never heard of the COVID, do you, on the, you know, it makes me think, was it a blag? Yeah. You never hear it mentioned. You hear about Ukraine. You hear about Israel and all. Nothing's been said. I'll this be honest, year Frank. I haven't COVID. got a clue about Israel, and I'm not being no. fucking arrogant or not yeah. like that. I just don't know what it's all about. So I'm not going to talk about it because I don't know what the fucking well, hell it's about. I done a show in Israel, and on the way to the hotel, <laughs> on, the, on the way to the hotel, we bottled it. I was walking, there's bombs going off, and I saw it's like a fucking Undertaker, Billy, but no wind in it. Yeah. You know, and I looked, there was a coffin there, this fella, and his arm was hanging out. But it looked like he had an Everton shirt on. I was, fuck. Anyway, I walked in. There was a fella lying there. He had an Everton shirt on, a pair of shorts, a fucking big pair of boots. And the undertaker came over. I said, what's happening here, mate? He said, yes, my friend. I said, are Everton's kiss? He said, oh, yes. I said, what? He said, when he died, he said... Bury me in Gaza's strip. Cough, Maggie. They did that the old time. Oh, yeah, I used, yeah, to, I used to use it years ago. Yeah, we brought yeah, it back yeah. now. We got brought it back, back yeah. Do you know what we were talking about? We were talking about yesterday, me and Darren. We were talking about like celebs and the people that we bumped into and like, You've had the, you've had a few in here, haven't you? In the gym, yeah, Josh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we've had all the, we've had all the fucking wrestlers in here at one time. Yeah. And you know what? The the fellas who play, what do they call heels? Who get fucked every week? Oh yeah, they were sound. Yeah, but John Cena was a knob. Go away. He was a fucking knob. Like. He was, big he was time, a little. Yeah. What happened was I had a cockney mate that talked yeah. about him, didn't I, little Teddy? And he was a fitness instructor in the Hilton. Uh. So all them wrestlers walked in the Hilton, and as soon as they walked in, he went, "What is it? The big show and all that." And John the Cena, show, and he yeah. went, "Yeah," and he went. Fucking hell, you can't train in here. I'll take you to me mate's gym. So they called come up Foxy at the time when it was open to the public. 
And they all comes in. I went, fucking hell, mate. They're all off the telly, you know what I mean? And they were in my gym. And um, as soon as the kids found out, yeah. they were there. Fucking hell, next minute, mate. Flew in there, yeah. They was fucking, there was at least a hundred kids outside. Oh, yeah. And adults, it was dead weird. Yeah. There was people with banners, you know, them fingers and yeah. all that, lad. And they're all standing there, yeah. outside, yeah. No, the all gym over yeah. the road. Yeah. They're all there, they're all standing. And that's your, all the lads come in like a minibus put on by the Hilton. And that John Cena come in a limo. Mm. So everyone's, oh, where's John? I didn't know who he fucking mm. was, you know what I mean? But there was a girl and she fainted outside and she was only a kid and she she fainted and I went, mm. fucking hell, bring her in. Like, I had to put two lads on the door. <laughs> lads, I said, bring her in, mate. So he brings her in and all that and she's fucking, I'd never see, you hear about the Beatles, don't you, where yeah. kid, people faint. I'd never seen it before in my life, mate. And she fucking fainted. She had a big scrapbook. We're all gearing off him on and all that. And I went, get it in, like, get it. So he gets it and gives it a drop of water. And he's a fucker. And I went, all that blag on telly, pretending he's a dead nice fella. He's full of shit. So yeah. I went over to him. I said, all right, mate. I said, what it is. He had a manager with him. So I went to the manager first. And I said, what it is, mate. Got a little girl here. She's a massive fan. She's got a scrapbook. Yeah. Just wanted to sign it, having a pitch. And he went, no. Go away. Listen, lad, he went, no. And I said, mate, fucking... I said, tell him to get out the fucking gym, mate. Get out the gym. And so he see me pointing and pointing to the door. Uh, and he come over. Probably, well, he would have knocked fuck out of me, Frank, but you know, right? it's a little know. girl, mate. Anyway, she was she was only a teenager, uh, young teen. So anyway, in the end, the manager come over and said, you'll have to wait till he's finished his workout. So I said, okay, mate. So he finishes the workout. And you know what? All the other, gym? yeah. All the other, he come for three days. Yeah. All the other fellas were fucking sound. He went, mate. He was one arrogant fuck. Yeah. Sorry to ruin any fans think about him. He was one arrogant fuck. Anyway, he signed it for the girl in the end. Few people got pictures and they all liked it. But they have got an hard life, them wrestlers, you know. <laughs> yeah, fucking you know what I mean? About, yeah. Listen, you know the ones that get fucked every week? Uh, he got a he went to Hilton and he could eat whatever he wanted and get whatever he wanted off that uh, W, whatever they're called. All them fellas only got 50 quid a day. And when uh, I give them all a drink, they were fucking made up. But he's, is he much better than the others or is just not? I don't know, don't know, Frank. Yeah. I don't know. I might Hogan them, in these, my day, lads. Yeah. I haven't got a fucking clue. Or Big Daddy. I'm, I'm, I've heard, you know, people like Paul McCartney, he's just like talking to us, he's sound, and he? like a billionaire, most famous person in the world. A lot of people who are like famous, but they're, yeah. they're just off their own ass. Yeah, I was yeah. walking through town, right, a couple of months ago, seeing this to Darren, right, uh, with the message, we're getting the, the baby registered in, uh. in the town hall, or whatever it's called, by the fucking library buildings. And um, they, they were filming, and um, my mate said, yeah, they're doing something called... Uh, I can't remember what it was called, but it's Elba was yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And I was like pushing the pram, right? I said to him, yeah. I bet you any money we bump into a decent. It's nine o'clock in the morning, we're not going to bump into anyone, you know what I mean? Next thing, this fucking van slams on, door slides open, out pops a Drish, right? I'm like that with the pram. I'm like, fucking hell, all right, Drish. He went, what? And I've never asked a celeb for a photograph, you know, yeah. like, it's a picture. What I thought. I was asking for one for me bed. <laughs> so she gives a picture there, please, mate. And he went, no, I'm in costume. <laughs> I just swear me and I thought, wow. lad, what do you mean you're in costume? I've been on set with like the likes of Stallone who's been in costume and I have pictures uh, next to him. It doesn't work like that. Yeah. So sometimes, I don't know. Probably, yeah. Maybe he's just having a bad day. Maybe he, Tell you, know. you what I'm getting on, I'm getting fucking old. Even from the last time, two years ago, no, we did a bar. Years. Look at me fucking head, mate. It's doing a wheelie on one side. <laughs> Once you get a double wheelie, it's off, mate. But look, I'm, I'm not getting a sunroof. I'm admitting on camera. No way. You should say that. I'm not getting I a sunroof. I go back tomorrow yeah. to get my head done again. Ah, yeah. Scalp pigmentation, it's a tattoo. Is it, yeah? On my head. I go to this place, Scalp Tech, up in Bersco, Terry. He was yeah. voted. He was the best practitioner in the UK. And he asked me would I do a couple of videos for him and all. And I said, went so fantastic. Look at it. Did it you go, did you wheelie on one side and then you went? No. How what did yours go? Do you know what, why I got it done in the end? Yeah. I had the monkey's ass. Man. Did you? Yeah. You had this and double sun. I hated it. <laughs> I hated it. Uh, did you have a little bit of it? Because I've seen I, a video of you, yeah. right? And you look the spit of your will. Oh, of our yeah. will, yeah. yeah. He's, He's got a cracker set of air, Will. Yeah, like. Will's yeah. Like handsome and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're yeah. a bit of an handsome. <laughs> yeah. In my day. In your day. But yeah. Will's like me now. He's like a film star. But I had a fucking big head of air. 
I think what happened is just a bit of stress, you know. I lost yeah. it in about two years. Did you have the barcode going over? Like, yeah, I had yeah. all that. <laughs> and I just couldn't handle it. And then I saw about scalp pigmentation yeah. and I got involved with it. And I like it. Yeah. You shave it every day. Yeah. Or you leave it for a few days. So it fades with the sun after a few yeah. years. So you've got to go yeah. back and get it topped up. But I think it's a but good one. But my old fella yeah. tried to keep hold of the old Bobby Charlton, yeah. the old fucking... Yeah. The old barcodes on his head, and when our kid cut yeah. it off, lad, he looked about twenty years younger when well, he got it cut got off. To. And the thing is, you now, can't have to shout. I've can never you? had anyone yeah. shouting. I don't give a yeah. fuck who knows now, but yeah. I've never had anyone shouting out in the audience. What have you done to your head? They don't like that. Looks cool. Yeah. Yeah. And birds love it. You get birds. Oh, they're a sexy look and all that. So I right say to there, anyone, there, yeah. <laughs> but he was, he was gay. Was well, he with yeah, the two oh, yeah, puffs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know they were Did two you know puffs, that? mate. Very, yeah, oh, get gay, them all yeah. on me now yeah. over saying puff. <laughs> Fucking hell, mate, innit? Whoops. So, <laughs> the shackle has gone out the window. <laughs> Since I've had it done, you don't have to go to barbers. The barbers are ripping you off now. You want 10 quid, don't they? And the rest, so Frank. So just shave me, 12 quid, whatever it is. Every day, sometimes I go. But it just fades a little bit. I'm getting it done up uh, tomorrow. So, so you've a little bit of work on yourself. You've just, just yeah, started I've had loads of work on myself. Yeah, just started yeah. taking care. Yeah, that's what, why do you think I look like a movie star? <laughs> <laughs> I want to get back to looking like I used to look like our Will looks now. So how are you, how are you today? So like in the last two years, <laughs> we haven't had no uh, no no videos. We've done nothing. And a lot of uh, people have been asking, you know, when's Darren and Frankie getting back? Well, I'll tell you the truth. While the three of us are here on yeah. camera, I've been battered by people saying... Why aren't you with Darren? Yeah. Why aren't you with Billy Moore? Yeah. And I've had to go, I do my own thing. We haven't got together. And a lot of people, especially I in the got a lot of hate, Frank. Yeah. <laughs> I got a lot of hate, lads. Yeah. I seem to upset everyone wherever it's, I fucking yeah. go. Yeah. I get a lot I get all them divvies in fucking what are the comments? And I was, oh fucking You're it's, always look, get it's that. only a laugh. If you want to get laugh. offended with the word puff, Darren, the way the world mate, is. You never know. I used to train the lads who was gay. When anyone's going to kick off. <laughs> here we were. Yeah. Yeah, here we are. Good mates, lads. <laughs> They've been for a bevy where I'm like, but you know, I'm gay friendly. Well, you, you know, know, Frank. Phil, Queen of Scots, you he's a very good friend. Ah, of, listen, you know, he sounds lad, yeah. Philip. What the sounds. fuck, mate? You know, it's but not you'll get everyone screaming. Just having a laugh. Yeah. You know, people can't accept it. You're no. having a laugh. In today's society, though, kid. You, oh, now, hard, everyone yeah. gets offended by something, don't they? Don't, 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 don't they get offended for other people? Yeah. What did you say that for? What do you, I mean, yeah. I'm not being honest with you. I don't give a fuck once I'm on stage. I turn it to someone yeah. else. You know yeah, what I mean? because that's something right, I'd, I'd uh, like to ask you. Because, right, on stage, and I've seen you on stage <laughs> a couple of times. You, you, and even the, 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 the kids outside before said, you know what, I worked on a George. Right, he said, and I didn't even want to go for a piss. He said, I'm a big kid. <laughs> He said, because I know he would have fucking assassinated if he walking down the aisle, right? Uh, so you you set up people, right? On, I've seen you. Well, it's a funny thing. What, I, what <laughs> I've discovered, Darren, you might get this yourself, you've evolved into a character. Now, your character here today yeah. Yeah. and Billy's, not the same fella that goes home and sits in the house watching the telly, right? you become someone else. It's like an alter ego, isn't it? I am. It? I am. Yeah. Yeah. You're very different. No, I'm, the, I'm the same as when I go home, lad. My, I have my bed oh, aesthetically. Well, we have a laugh. Ah, you know, you're the same. Well, that's, that's rare because most yeah. people, no. you've got like your stage persona yeah. kind of thing. Then you. When you we're in the self. gym and here in the morning, yeah. the lads and me, we have a fucking laugh. Like the okay. day we had a laugh. We have a laugh every day. And sometimes we're crying. Laugh a lot. Don't like go home or I don't meet anyone. Like we get loads of people, don't we? Like come up on the podcast and I never go, all right, yeah. I never go. Oh, all right, mate. You're all right. Because I'm me. I'll say, what's happening, lad? You're all right, kid. Sam, yeah. mate. And I'll have a laugh. We're trying to have a laugh with I them. I think what it is, with some people anyway, especially myself, yeah. I've found that the character can't say, so I'd never say Yeah, but you're different because you're on stage, stage, stage lad. Maybe aren't you? that's it, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't imagine you walking down the street saying, hey, four eyes, fuck off. Well, I wouldn't do that. I'm not like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, there's a bird on Saturday night we were in Wigan. And I saw this one, I thought, fucking hell, she's ugly here. <laughs> but I thought, well, I'm going to say something to her. Anyway, once I was on off stage, yeah. she went, hi, Frankie, here in the mates. I said, you're all right, love. Hola. Gone on stage, and I looked at her, and she went, I said, have you seen this bird? Said, oh, you never did, yeah. Hell. Good job the Yorkshire Rippers in jail. <laughs> <laughs> so they saw you, he'd knock fuck out of you. So she shouted, I said, fuck off, you ugly. I said, oh, even really? the tide wouldn't take you out. <laughs> <laughs> he's, 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 anyway, but look. when I come off, <clears> at the end of the night when we finished, she was the first in the queue for pictures, do you yeah. love it? 
But Frank, so doesn't anyone ever take proper fucking thingy to it, lad? Yes and no. I The same thing in Wigan on Saturday. We had a cup of security <laughs> on and all that. Yeah. There was this horrible sitting at the front with a ball down. He was like that, sitting there. And as I'm telling Gags, I could hear him. He was going, shice. <laughs> <laughs> he was going, shice. So I went, you're all right, mate? And he went, on. Shice. I said, I'm oh, shy. I said, have you seen yourself, you ugly c-? I said, you're trying to grow a beard. He was like Guy Fawkes. No, what if it was like a little pointy bit of blonde? I said, Guy you soft. I said, you look like a rat peeping through a toilet brush. I said, look at your fucking teeth, you c-. I said, you want to see this c-? I was going, I said, teeth like a fucking caveman's necklace. I said, horrible ugly cross-eyed <laughs> anyway, so he's still going on. He's so we, the day, he? he's starting yeah. like fucking semi snarling, you know, snarling yeah. a little bit. So we carry on and all, and he's like that whispering to his mates as though, like, I'll do this, yeah. you know what I mean? So I said, uh, <laughs> I can't help it. Done a few, then I went, Where's the big? I straight back to him. Did you go back to him, lads? Yeah. Where's the big hard case? Roll yeah. Yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, so he starts enough. to snarl, and I said, Hey, you, you soft, <laughs> so soon you So I saw you in the butchers. Said to the butcher, that a pig's head in the window. He said, no, it's a mirror. He shouted something else. He said, go on, you t-. Even when you're a baby, the incubator had tinted windows. You're that fucking ugly. <laughs> you had to fucking, your ma had to fucking breastfeed you with a straw. You know? <laughs> so he, he went like that. So in the end, what I always say, Darren, I become someone else. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. not a fucking hard case. Yeah. I'm not a fucking young man anymore. Yeah. So I said to him, listen, lad. And the lad said, I said, that bothered you. I said, look, lad, fucking shut up. Don't ruin the fucking show. Yeah. So come in the dressing room after we finish and I'll punch your fucking head in. And everyone went to book. <laughs> <laughs> and you were serious? He thought uh, it was a joke. I don't know whether it was serious or not. Yeah. And I don't even know what I would have done. I don't even know what I would have come in. Yeah. All right, mate. Yeah. All right, mate. It's just a joke. I'm a comedy. But it's like yeah. what you've said. Uh, I've took the piss up. But most fellas like you, Darren, fucking big fellas, like, they laugh. Yeah. It's the divvies that kick off, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you had that when you work in the doors. Yeah, well, you'd always got an art case that had come in, and you always were a little bit of entree. And the art case was always sound, right? But the the entree, they were always fucking, a lot of them were divvies. And they'd want to impress the art case, and it's a kid or something, and then he was murdered, and then, you know, and you were like, oh, fucking hell. But it was never the art case, you know. It really wasn't. It was always the divvy, mate, when I worked anyway, he used to kick off. But we had some good laughs, like. But um, Krimbo soon, innit? Himbo, well, Himbo. Well, we're in November, so we're heading that way. We've done a, yeah. well, the last podcast was a couple of years ago. Billy, I'll never forgive you for that one, I'll tell you Come what. <laughs> tell me why, lad. He said, we're having a Christmas podcast in that Jack the Snipper, was it? The Barbers. Oh, we yeah, went yeah, yeah. in one of the Barbers, sweeps. yeah. Sweeps. Yeah. We're all coming in Christmas gear. Did lad? Yeah. yeah. No, I did. Yeah. I had a fucking big itchy pullover on. Yeah, I, he gave me a pink one. And on the front, <laughs> jingle bells on it. on it. All that. I was the only one with the gear on. I had a pink jumper on, didn't I, with oh, jingle did bells? John May, let you John May gave me oh, it, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, you didn't say it. Yeah, 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 no, I forgot. forgot. You I forgot. Two years. No. But as I say, seriously, a lot of people are asking me, we were up in uh, Yorkshire. And uh, lad was saying to me, aren't you doing a podcast? I Yorkshire lad, we're yeah, doing yeah. a podcast with Billy and Zara and we all watch them. It's funny, because when you're doing them all, yeah. no one takes any notice of yeah. you. When you stop doing it, they're all going, what you stop for? Yeah. Yeah. Because no, you know what it is, it's, it, they're all tense, you it's real life. You, you said it before, you know what I mean? Too many people are politically correct. You feel like you can't say what you want. And you're one of those people that just say what you want. You've got your own instinct. You say how you feel. You say it how it is, <laughs> know, and you do. You know what was that one about the scouse bears that you took off the other fella? Oh, did that he, done that one? Up on I never that, even seen that. I think it's up to someone text me. So what happens is I do them just. I get fucking bored. <laughs> so instead of just going like you know phoning someone up or that, I end up getting on that Instagram. And as I ended up doing these skits on my own, just fucking yeah. skitting everyone. And then it all goes round the bend then after that, lad. And then well, people's you know, copied them, right? Yeah. And I end up in everyone's WhatsApp group. Then people rob me and put me on YouTube. And I haven't thought, I've only had a laugh thinking I'm talking to me mates in here. And it goes round the fucking bend, Frank. very good, Darren. That yeah. one about the San Carlo was brilliant, you know. Yeah, but they've and done that, a few new ones. And like, I've done a Novama round, one you know, and that with the lads. The fucking flew round. Yeah, but look, it's, it's I only do them for a laugh. No yeah. one has to take 
massive events at them too, the lads, you know what I mean? But people do, that's what they're like, innit? It, what it is, everyone's got phones. You never know when someone's recording yeah. you. Or whatever. So yeah, you don't, you know, you, lads. You've got to be careful what yeah. you say. You know, even, I was in the Asda a while ago and I'm talking to these lads and they were, hey, Frankie, how's it going? And Have you got any uh, jokes and all that? Does this for us, Frankie, do us a favour, lad. Any jokes that you can't sell on stage. Did he, yeah. <laughs> and I went, it's about what he went, you know, and I went. And I was going to tell him this gag that I used to do years ago, I'm not doing it. I get fucking 10 years. Yeah. I said, no, no, I'm not doing Ooh, it. Not with all the political anyway, correct, isn't it? A few days later, my me, me lad said, Dad, have you seen this? I was filming me like that. I was like, yeah, honestly. Was he, God, yeah. Could have got me locked up. See what I mean? It's mad, isn't it, the way yeah. it is now? You've got to be very know. careful. You don't know who's videoing who or nothing anymore, do you? Yeah. But Krimbo, I like, you know what, Krimbo, what I like at Krimbo yeah. is board games with the kids, right? And I'll tell you what, we, me and our kid, when we were <laughs> young, we were fucking horrible, mate. And I remember me and got, remember Mr. Pop? Yeah. Remember Mr. Pop? So me and gets us Mr. Pop and fucking, you know, you're trying to put the face on, you get the cards, it's got a beard, you're putting it fucking on and all that. Next minute, kid. Have you got to draw them? them no, ones? no, it's 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 a, it's a thing there. It goes down, Bill, and it flips up and all the pieces oh, yeah, yeah. fly everywhere, but you've got to put them on with a timer. So we're like Is that. that. Potato, Ed? No, Mr. Pop. So we're like that, putting them all on, Frank. <laughs> we just, I mean, <laughs> fucking boards, weren't he? So our kids, did I tell you what? Should we play Mr. Dangerous Pop? I said, what's that? She went, you go first, right? I'll open your eyelids. <laughs> right, seriously, like that. The thing pops up and it all goes in your eyes, right? Oh, I said, go ahead then. I always remember me, ma, you know? <laughs> so, like, he's got me like that. And I'm like that, and Mr. Pop's on the fucking timer. And she, horrible, like, yeah, I hope the eyebrow hits you, you know, in the eye and all that, like that. Next, next me and my ma come in, she went, it all went, fuck off, pop, <laughs> right, and me go, hit me in the eye, and me ma went, why just can't you just play like the kids on the box? <laughs> I just have to be fucking horrible with every game. You fucking play. But we was always horrible. You know, we always turned like a nice game, like mouth strapping. You end up throwing the balls at each other. You know, it looked great, didn't you? You know, they get them families on them boxes, the R school games, and they're all having fun, aren't they? Fucking ours were never like that, mate, on them games. They were fucking horrible, mate. I always end up, someone ends up crying. It's like when you used to go to Saudi as a kid. And towards the end, you'd had a crack a day. Me mate Liam always talks about this. And you might have been taking you for your once a year trip to Southport. And she, you'd go, you'd walk past one of them joke shops, wouldn't you? The old fart spray and the stink bombs, Ted's. And you go, can I have a toy? No, you can't have one. Oh, and you kick off and your mother's always say to you, why are you ruining a good day? You've had a good day, <laughs> wouldn't you? <laughs> and you'd have to fucking ruin it, don't you? You were like that walking home. He wanted this thing, but oh, them shitty sweets. What oh, makes yeah. your tongue oh, all damn, black, yeah, lad, yeah. mate? Do you remember them? Remember them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just thinking about it. Remember shit powder? Yeah. Oh, you got that down here as well, mate. It fucking killed him. I it? remember being in school as a kid. I didn't really like him anyway. I got this shit in powder. He went to gym. Put it in his undies, you know. <laughs> he took us there, put the shorts on, and we were having an English class at the next class. <laughs> got a belt on. Eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, teacher went, What's wrong, Paul? Yeah. <laughs> Wonder what was in it. I think it must have been like glass, what, like fiberglass. But here's one Was the ever a teacher you were shit scared of? Now, you went to my oh, Mr. school. Colin. Mine was called Miss Maguire, right? Oh, okay. She went to um, she was in St. Sylvester's, which is now Trinity. <laughs> So you went from infants right into first year juniors, it was called. I don't know what the numbers are now. Mm. So you went there and she was just fucking great like that, yeah. Fucking shit myself anyway. Fucking pet. We were all petrified and I was sitting there. I always remember me first day sitting there. And this is a true story, this. And I'm sitting there and I went, fucking, so I wouldn't ask to go the bog. Frightened of a Frank. I must have, how old are you in first year seniors? About seven or something, are you? First year seniors? No, oh, you're older than that. You're oh, seniors, juniors. 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 How old are you? About seven. Seven. You've just made your communion, yeah. haven't you? Seven, so you're about seven. seven. Yeah. I remember sitting there and I'm at the fucking front because I was always messing about. So she throws me at the front. I went, I need this shit, but I'm fucking shit scared of this fucker here, mate. I'm sitting there. Next minute, kid, I shit me kex. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> listen, those dirty bastards, you know, shit me kex. When I tell me kids this, they go, oh, dad, you was horrible. I 
I'm ever put them the fuck. Oh, no. I've got to go to South Billy. I've got to put it somewhere. Rolled it in a ball and threw it under Mr. McGuire's chest, lad. Can you imagine the cleaners coming in? It's a fucking crayon there in a little round one. What are they? I remember rolling them up and just throwing them onto the chest, lad. I was a dirty little Mate. It's fucking horrible, lad. But I was petrified of a lad. She was a he was a teacher, he was best to bribe, Bill. Mr. Connor, he was, um, he did, I think he was a bit weird as well, because you used to have to wear shorts and ask you. We all had to wear shorts. Yeah. 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 Fucking non skier Saint, Saint Samba Rose Junior School, and, and he, we used to have a green jumper with a little red side, maroon side, grey shears, and fucking little shorts. And I was always getting the cane, right? I don't know if you've got the cane. Yeah, yeah got I the was cane, getting the yeah. cane. And you used to always get you in this fucking room, and you'd stand there, and he'd pull out this a big cane out of this tube and had like little blister packs on it you know what I mean Yeah. and he'd be all oh, fucking ready but he'd pinch your ass. what's right? that all about though lad right, 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 right hey. to the top of your ass. he'd pinch it like he was like it was like a term of enzymes yeah. and then he'd fucking wallop you fucking right the four times chewing that I'm chewing that yeah. for robbing a bag of soldiers off the market but um, he was the weirdest and, and, and I remember he always said this there was um, we went to we went to Movammy yeah remember we used to go there Colomendi Colomendi and he, I can remember this like as, as vivid as fucking as it was yesterday. Yeah. And we used to all have to sit in this. This, this teacher sat in the middle. Weird thing, like proper Jimmy Shovel gear. Sat in the middle of the fucking circle, right? And said that we needed all to take our underwear off, right? Ah, oh, Billy, fuck right. off. Oh, serious, right? Throw a claiming, right? <laughs> <laughs> we had pajamas on. We had pajamas on. Most, right? We had pajamas on, right? Uh, but the girls never. Oh, right? lad, that's so they're all heavy, sitting mate. there, and I'm sitting in the circle, right? I must have been about seven. Look around now thinking, oh, can I can see a golly over there. What's going on? If I can see it, he must be able to see yeah, it. Well, you know what I mean? So what? It didn't register then. It's fucking fine. You know, years that later, lives. you know when you're like years later, you think, nah, mate, he was fucking shitting there, just fucking scanning everyone. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just clocking everyone's fucking cat. You know what I mean? Little kids well, and yeah, everything. Oh, it's on a A lot of yeah, people say to me, Frankie, what's the worst? Somebody says to me, uh, Frankie, what's the, you know, the worst thing you've ever done? I in what way? They said, you know, I said, I battered a nun once. And I go, wow. And what it was, I was seven or eight, me and my cousin, Billy Roscoe, he went to school, St. Oswald's and Old Swan, you know, Catholic school and all that. And we got kept behind after school and we were waiting there and there's, there's two nuns and the teacher, they just kept coming and looking. And the time was going on, felt as though we'd been left there forever, you know what I mean? So our Billy went like that, come on, let's go, let's run. And as we were running, they tried to stop us. And I don't know what it was. Me and Billy mm. just started to go like that. Yeah. <laughs> like right that. With them. We were only kids, but there was fucking murder, you know, like you getting to school and all that. Yeah. Hitting up, not like cheering and on like Joe yeah. Frazier, but just like, come your kids, weren't we? Just yeah. trying to get away. You've lived yeah. in like Liverpool all your life, haven't you? So do you, yeah. do you remember like Newsham Park, the orphanage? Well, that's haunted now, isn't it? Yeah, but like, did you remember you when it was trips? open? Do you remember yeah, when no. it was open or when it was like a... A loony bin. A loony bin. Because no. it must have been... It was about the 1990s. So what was it first? It was the kids going, weren't it? It was, it was it an orphanage, weren't it? You've got trips, you can pay to yeah, go yeah. there Billy's now. Billy's been, been in, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, been, yeah, been, been, been in a few in. times. But I mean, look, now, you're, you're of a certain age. I'm not saying you're old. It's a shame that you, you, you're a little bit older than us. So you might have remembered because you're from that. Kind of neck of the woods. I don't you? remember that. I do remember yeah. a mate of mine a couple of years ago went there because it's haunted and yeah. the TV had been there, haven't he? Most haunted. Yeah, the TV, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Filmed in there. There's been loads there, hasn't he? As I was in there and I didn't feel, I didn't fucking see nothing. I was down, fucking pitch black. I don't know what I did. I yeah. know. But um, when we're going back to school, mate, do you remember the fucking teacher's breath? Oh, mate, we had an headmaster called Mr. Williams, right? You didn't need to cane your mates because you just walked in and once he started shouting at you, he had red hair, he had a fucking muzzy like a little horrible rhino, you know, all hanging down with all ginger in it. And his teeth were all yelling, he started shouting and he was on the cigars, mate, and, his, yeah. this, and, and the coffee and you'd be like, fucking hell, mate. Your head was doing a fucking wheelie, mate, when he spoke to you. But he stunk, mate. And do you always remember it where you go, you know what I used to love? When we were doing camping, right? And you get detention, and all the lads are laughing. We went to camping about this, and he'd stand you by Wallace's office, and he'd be waiting at Wallace's office outside. Ten, he'd have a dictator phone on his bill, and he'd go, Darren Smith, four thirty detention. 
at my office and then he'd play it back in the day and you'd have a line of kids outside, you know, and all the cleaners would walk past. But what I loved is the teachers had let down the guard. It was great, you know, it was like everyone had got off, it was half three, kids gone quarter past and he let down the guard and he'd be walking around the school and she'd go, you know, to a teacher, oh, hello, Malcolm. And you go, oh, okay, Malcolm, mate. You know, ah, his name's Malcolm, that's his first name. Fuck off, mate. Got him, mate. And then you go, you know, the teacher would walk past. Hello, Liz. Oh, fucking, she's called Liz, lad, she's called Liz. Next day on the playground, you'd, do, you'd always do this mad voice, wouldn't you, when you was a kid. So the teacher would be walking, you go, Malcolm. And <laughs> <laughs> fucking had to be bad town, lad. Do you remember it? <laughs> Malcolm, Liz, Liz, here. Yeah. <laughs> lad, I used to love doing that. Send them round the fucking twist. And another thing I hated when we go back to juniors, do you remember them balls, Wembley Trophy Fives? Oh, yeah. He'd have you in shorts, wouldn't he? One of them would get wet with a load of gravel on it and some kid would blast the fucking ball and it'd hit you in the leg. Listen, I've been cracked a few times, but I've never been cracked like I've been cracked <laughs> with a Wembley Trophy 5, lad. It was your pain, wasn't it? Do you know the worst your thing pain? about school for me, Darren? It's probably the same as your school, aren't you, Billy? Yeah. In those days, before all this political, you could have the bullying come in. You'd be like having a fucking great day in school or... You remember, it was just like just before the bell went going home, a couple of fellas come up to you in the corridor and he was, Frankie, Mickey Warbo said he'd fuck you. Right, <laughs> what do you mean? He'd go with you, you know. Do you want to have him and all that in the playground after school? And your whole fucking body would be like that. I've got to be fighting for my fucking life, you know what I mean? And this night, it's a funny one, did Mickey Warbo, a bit of a fucking hard case. And it was all that. Like, Who's the cock of the school? Who's the second cock and all that? All the buying for position. And the fella said, there, listen, I want to tell you, uh, Mickey Warbo's going to offer you out at four o'clock. It's going round, there's going to be a big scrap here with him. And it was a big arcade. <laughs> My fucking ball. My ball was fucking gone. Anyway, one of the teachers come out. Anyway, the ball went so dispersed. So over the next couple of days, Everyone was talking and going, all right, Frank, how's it going? I believe uh, you ran away from Mickey Warbo. I went, what? I never ran away from Mickey Warbo. The teacher come out, that's what everyone's saying. Now, that was worse, that overrode yeah, your yeah. fear. Yeah. Overrode your fear. So I knew he used to go to park Howard by the us. County, yeah. <laughs> and one of the lads said, you still looking for him? Because I put it right. I said, I'm looking for him now. So he said, he's on the swings. <laughs> he's on the swings. <laughs> So I went down. I didn't really know him that well. So all the way down, I kept rehearsing what I was going to say. I was going to say, you Mickey Warbo. He's in a different, I think he was in the next years of me. You Mickey Warbo. And when he went, yeah, I was just going to hit him. So all the way down, I was going, Mickey Warbo, Mickey Warbo. I walked right up to him. And he told us a big arc, he was on the swing like that. He got off the swing. <laughs> 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 and I just slid off and he went, wah, like that. And I said, hey, you fucking mucky Warbo. <laughs> <laughs> and he just burst out laughing and we just got to be mates then we'll yeah. fight you know yeah no, it's, it's everything's changed now with those kids isn't it isn't you it? know what i mean nah, that's fucking it's 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 a dangerous little world out there now and yeah, the kids out yeah. there you know what yeah, i mean it's, it's mate, um, yeah. you know the bullying in schools it's more cyber bullying though isn't it kid yeah. people don't even where we all knocked for each other do you remember yeah. you used to knock on a kid's house and you'd knock for him and they knock for him and then you used to all go to the park or you know for us we all went to the canal and all that kids don't do that now they just like cyber bully them which is I think yeah, it's worse than getting a kick up the ass you'd never heard of anyone taking their own life would you no mate it's well, sad that though sad. Frank, i know it's sad, terribly you know. sad but yeah. how does it get to that stage i don't you know? know lads but you'd be heartbroken as a parent oh, wouldn't you lads it it fucking heavy mate daughter. it's heavy mate i'd be like liam neeson mate to be on yeah. the <laughs> <laughs> lads i would mate any of my kids mate you're not doing that to them mate no, fucking no. i'll be like taking lads in it Going she, along, Voxy. She wasn't like she when I used to go home and see that. Because there's a lot, there's plenty of times when I was full of fear. Because when you're you're quite vulnerable as a young kid. You know what I mean? You're going to school and you've got to act a certain way. And because I was from speaking, I was going to school in Gaston and I was getting called a speech tramp. And, oh, right, you yeah. know, and um, I had this kid used to go to the lad. There was this yeah. lad, right? Carl Anderson, right? He was fucking. He was only about fourteen, but he had a pair of shoulders on him like that. Right, I didn't know he was on the steroids at that yeah, age, yeah, but he yeah. was because he ended up really, yeah. He ended up losing oh, a leg, right? Oh. Getting an amputated, and then yeah. he ended up dying, right? 
Well, that was turns out well for Carl, did they? Fucking stay off that decker, boys. Fucking hell. It was like a fucking unit, you know what I mean? And you go from like the juniors to the seniors. Yeah. But then you've got to concern with like the first, second, third. I mean, it's fucking, it's different years now, isn't it? But going back to fights in school, in our school campaign, right? I remember getting there. I must have been a thousand kids in there, lad. Do you know, like each year, lad, classes, four classes of 30, 40 kids in each class, lad. And I remember getting there, went from Little St. Sylvester's up to. That's got some reputation, that campaign, though, wasn't it? Yeah, fucking heavy, mate. It was an heavy school. I remember going there and we're walking around a playground, and you're 11, aren't you? And I remember seeing this fella with his top off. Having a game of footy and he had an eerie chest and all that. And I went, oh, I know, mate, the teachers get stuck in in a match, don't they? And some <laughs> kid went, that's one of the kids, mate. That's oh one of the God. lads, you know, he's in 50. And I went, fucking hell. And then next minute you did, remember doing up when you had people let that fight? Ooh, 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 ooh. And I thought, what's this? And he was two kids having a scrap, right? And he was kids standing there and he would go, and he was just gollying over them and he was too hard cases in the school Boy. but the old school surrounded them and they were in what they called the golly pit anyone laugh you went to camp and they were in a golly pit and he was kids about fucking six don't go look Frank not just and he, I don't know where they were getting these greenies from oh but they were God. falling all over them they had them all over the kite and all yeah. and I said fuck having a fight in this school mate even the hard cases get spit on mate so that put me right off mate oh, I would just come class clown lad fuck that mate isn't it? Yeah. Having fights back then, mate, when you're getting greenies all over, mate. Levy, mate. As you say, it's a different world now, yeah. isn't it? You know, I don't think there's any... You never hear of a cocker of school and not like that. No, there's yeah. no such thing, it's is there? What about when we were talking ages ago, Bill? Yeah. About the kids and, like, there's pansexuals and that, you know what Why? I mean? It's fucking heavy grip, mate. I don't... What's oh, that? Does. You're not a girl or you're not a lad, so oh, you yeah. call yourself a pan or something like that. Yeah. I don't oh, understand yeah, it all, lads. You know, it goes out of... Look, if you're a lesbian, you're a oh, les. Yeah. If you're gay, you're gay. If you're bisexual, <sighs> don't really agree with them fuckers, like, but, you know, they want a bit of everything. But at least you're some. Now everyone's like, they're saying, you know, I, I'm, I'm this, I'm that. I don't know where we are with it all, lads. I don't, do you? No, and it's, it's, it's fucking baffling, isn't it? It's... it's Something that you've got to concern yeah. with every day with everyone. Yeah, there'd be a few pan pansexuals listening now who's fucking fuming, Bill. I'll get it. Well, That's gruffy, I'll get it. Everyone's <laughs> looking for attention. I had a woman, funny enough, and Mickey Finn was on with yeah. me doing a show. And I was in a bulldog, West Derby. It was here. We'd done a show yeah. a few years ago. Anyway, the uh, show went down great. Mickey went great. Came off. And this woman called to me. I knew straight away she was going to kick off, you know. She said, excuse me, can I have a word? Really? I, I, I said, what is it, love? She said, are you homophobic? I done a couple of jokes about Michael Barrymore or something, you know. Yeah. I said, what do you mean, love? She said, are you homophobic? I said, what do you mean? I knew what she meant, but I, was just, I said, I don't know what you mean. So I was just having a laugh. She said, yes, she said, but you're very disrespectful, very hurtful, she said, to homosexuals. Oh, so she yeah, said, no. then she went, I'm like, I've got an angry, I'm starting to cry, she went, <laughs> my son's gay and I said I said mine's not yeah. I said you want, I said, you want, you want to see his bird <laughs> anyway Vicky said fucking hell Frankie you're having half obsessed here I said fuck it <laughs> yeah. I said yeah my, she said my son's gay but thought I was going to go yeah oh, I'm so sorry, sorry. Yeah. I it's said, so, uh, it's so what if he is lads you know it's sound fucking crack on me I said my... mine's not I said, you want to see his bird? Yeah. But, like, the, the, all that, like, you know, if you're gay, we, we've all got no problem with Look, gay people. You know what I mean? What it is, we've all got gay mates. It's just a we bit of a Frank. laugh. We haven't, Frank. We haven't. People have a go at me out of town being a scouser and all that. It's like this thing, racism. You're, uh, somebody called me, what did he call me? I don't do anything in my act. But yeah. a woman came up to me and she went, I told her to fuck off. And she went, <laughs> it's not like you, Frank. Uh, no. She goes, uh, do you know you're borderline racist? I said, what does that even fucking mean? Yeah. I said, fuck off. And all that. Borderline racist. People are analysing everything. You say to sit yeah, there like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, mate. You know, waiting for you to slip up and yeah, say something. Yeah. Most people, black people, white people, Chinese people, gay people, straight people, like, no one gives a fuck. People are just trying to make a living. 
People are trying to, you know. I know, but you don't know. Say, they're just trying to go to sh- get something to eat, go on holiday once a year, look after the kids. No one's interested in it, and it's devouring, it's destroying so society. You must, you must find it really difficult being a comedian in this day and age because I know from from like the experience yeah. of, of like the, the old school comedy, that's where you're from, that's yeah, what you're yeah. about. So now, and you mentioned it before, Frankie, about pulling people pulling phones out. And like we're on camera, so yeah. you've got to be mindful about what you say. That's what you say, yeah. So, do you, do you, but off camera, you fucking, you know, you can be yourself in some areas. So, do you feel like you have to portray yourself as someone, even here now with the last yeah. night, yeah. as someone different? Yeah, you've had your wings clipped. The freedom of speech thing in the UK, anyway, it's gone. You've got to be very, very careful what you say. As you say, we're having a laugh, but there's probably people watching this. They're gonna. Like oh, that, you mate, know, one of these woke people are going to... Just, just, just rewind that, please, yeah. Tom. Yeah. Yeah, the champ in the beard. Did he say something? I'm sure he said something which could be interpreted yeah, yeah. as homophobic. Yeah. Phone the police! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about that bull fella? <laughs> I'm sure he allude. I'm sure didn't he allude to... to <laughs> no, it was... The, other, the guy in the middle definitely said something yeah. about... Um, trans, trans, this is transphobic! Yeah. Oh, trans- oh, yeah. It is, that's how it is now, though. Fucking it? dickheads. Fucking, honestly, People mate. are just trying to live their lives. Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> if I went to, to a shop and I, I, I needed a bottle of milk and a fella was dressed as a woman, I wouldn't go, all right, I'll put the fucking milk back. Yeah. You know, no one yeah. gives a fuck. <laughs> yeah. People are just trying to make a yeah. living. It's like when we go back to like, comments you do something on instagram or something on youtube bill yeah and like when i did you billy set me up a youtube thing didn't you lads yeah. about training and all i got was shit off people yeah. even though i'd won 31 bodybuilding competitions and i'm coming on i'm giving you all this advice for free just mistakes i made i don't want you to make and i'm giving all and i got slated and i thought yeah. why am i giving all this when a kids pay me to coach them Right, so why am I giving all this for free and mm. getting fuck all of it? I'll tell you what I've never done. I bet you've never done it. Never you've done it. Have you ever made a, a negative comment? It's you know, if I do, like say something comes up on YouTube or on Instagram, do, have you ever looked and gone, nah, 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 yeah. and then written it down? Because I know I haven't. Yeah. If I had a problem with you, Frank, yeah. or I've seen something you didn't like, you know what I'll do? I'll skip past it. Yeah. And I'll go, I might go to it's myself, dead. fucking dickhead. Or something, but I won't start jotting down yeah. on comments. You said this and you said that and you're this. Look, mate, if it does your head in, delete it. So what? What are your pet hates like, Jim Wise? I know you, you're a, you're a big fan of old school training and <sighs> fucking hell, mate. Half the people asked on here about training, Bill. Yeah, look at the moment, people. right? Yeah. Well, I was a fucking, I was a big fucking pudding. You know, was a Billy. Show that picture. Yeah. Show that picture. Yeah. So. Got a picture yeah, he's yeah. gonna pull you. Just before so, you started yeah, training, yeah, 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 put that up. Yeah, put yeah. an head on you like yeah, a medicine okay. ball. Yeah, got a big head on me, big derby and all. And I thought, how can I fucking? People were asking me on the internet, lads, will you coach me for what I've done in the past? And I said, lads, I can't coach you. I said, I look like a bag of King Geddes. How can I tell anyone what to do when I look like a bag of King Geddes, lads? And what can I tell you what to do? Eat and all that. When all I know at the moment is the best chippies to go to. So I got to a point and I went, I was about 19 stone and I went, it's time to turn this in, you know, lads. So I'd done a little 12 week diet, right? Cardio every day. I think I'd done two hours of cardio a day. It was up at four o'clock in the morning before I got to work at like, Six, I was doing my cardio, faster cardio. I do my weights with the lads in the afternoon. Then in the night, I do cardio again. And I got into really good shape for my age. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm cracking on. I'm nearly a bully. You know, we all are, aren't we? So, but I got into good shape for my age. And I did it naturally. And people were like, ah, you haven't done this. You haven't done it naturally. You're on this, you're on that. I said, lad, look. Once I stopped competing, I said, I'm not going. Look, in the past, I took I took juice yet sound I was you'd have to do to bodybuilding the competitions but then I thought once I stop competing that's it my ego's not that big enough I don't need to take it anymore I was already a big fella anyway before I ever took it yeah. so what I've done is I've done a natural fucking thingy on myself you know one of them 12 week programs stuck to it like fuck and there's the results what I've got Billy's putting up and um, I use three supplements I use Tonkat Ali I'll get you on this Frank I've got Billy yeah. some 
it's just putting Billy Hodgson. What is it? Right, Tom Cartel, he's a natural test booster, right? Okay. And it's a natural, it's made from a plant. And just have a look at that little podcast with Joe Rogan on it, okay, right? Joe That's Rogan, all you yeah. need. I'll get you some, Frank. I've got yeah. some there. I'm a supplier of it, right? Because it was that good, I thought. I got in touch with the kid who got me it, and I was supplier. And I was on that. I was on another thing called Shalat, right? Okay. Now, that's from India, Shalat. And what that does, it's a mineral. Okay. And we don't get enough minerals in our food anymore because it's all been stripped and it's all full of shit. Uh, Even if you get a chicken bread bill, yeah. the chickens are being jabbed, the full chickens are on the juice, it. full of water <laughs> shit. All the minerals are not in the food no more. Even, you know, the farms are getting sprayed with the crops. We think we're buying organic. We're fucking not. So we lose a lot of minerals. And what minerals do, right, is mainly for us who want to put on a bit of muscle or keep muscle, they make you absorb more protein. So if you haven't got enough minerals in you, no matter what, you won't absorb the protein. So I got on that shellat. And then I got off CMOS. Now okay. CMOS fights all infections, right? What CMOS does, any infection in your body, it helps you fight it. They even say you fight cancer. Now I don't know about that, yeah. but people who have had results out of it. Yeah. So I went on them three supplements, Tonkat, CMOS, and shellat. And that's the results I got out of it. And I swear to you, if anyone wants me to go over to John Moore's, they can pay for the drug test. And we'll have a little nicker. <laughs> Bet, and that's what I've done, and I've done that in a few weeks. So it kept me busy yeah. while we were fucking. And I tried to, I've tried to not blow, blew back up. You know what I mean? I stay about seventeen stone. Yeah, I got you, down to sixteen from nineteen. You stayed lean. Yeah, I, I tried you know, to, lad. I, I, I remember when we were training at the yeah. first, if the first lot. Oh, we were was, two big cats, were we, lad? You, like we were going over there, <laughs> means eating fucking jack and potatoes all day long, and like fucking steaks and chicken. Spa, spa I said chicken, chicken, said, lads, yeah, I said to because I had, I had no idea. We had the butchers. But, Give our butchers a shout, lad. We had our butchers. I had no idea. On the docky. But tired. What about right? So I'm saying. I just fed Billy like I'm he was saying, a fucking but, super heavyweight. I said I just want to like fucking lean up. I end up right on the spa, full spa cock build, right? Yeah, full chicken and meal, lad. It was. A spot the size of my head. I'm going, like, oh, get all of it. Like, get another one in as well. I'm thinking, all right, get the salmon, get this, and I'm eating it. What would you build? 17 stone, weren't you? 18 stone. I've never oh, weighed I, that every in my life, mean, right? Well, I've got a picture. I should put it up. Yeah. My head is like that. Right, so I stood next to this kid, and I thought, fucking, I looked back at the picture, and I thought, wow. But then, when I, you put me down on another yeah. side, didn't yeah. you? You got me yeah. down from 16, 8. Yeah. You got me from 16, 8 to 14, 3. Yeah. In um, in eight weeks, yeah, we done it, and I was we? lean, lean like yeah. it was. It was looking well. Because Ben, yeah. our mate Ben, was doing the bodybuilding yeah. show. We got a little mate involved. who's yeah. Junior Mister Britain, so we all got involved and we all did the diet to support the kid. Yeah. In fact, he won Junior Mister Britain while I was coaching him and all yeah, that. You know, brilliant. he's a cracker bodybuilder, and we got him down. Machine, ripped. Yeah. He's a machine. Uh, yeah, but we we just we done that building, and I used them supplements right, and them supplements mm. look. Them supplements really work, mate. And I felt right. off that tank, tank cat alley. I still take it now. I feel it's fucking good. Especially for the pecker as you get older, lad. Fucking hell, mate. You stand it to attention on that fucker. But watch that Joe Rogan podcast yeah. on it, Frank. And I'll get you some. And it's fucking great. It's a yeah, natural plant. And increases testosterone in you. It's the only test, natural test boost I've ever used that's yeah. worked. And now a supplier. And how much you that out for? Well, it depends how many you buy, Bill, but yeah. they can DM me. Anyone can DM me on the supplements and DM yeah. me on that. I've put up my link there and I'm getting clever now on all this internet. All right, lads, yeah. Yeah, they're clever. And you can do us on that, but... You've got it, you've got it. I, yeah. But, you know, if it's, if it's that's what I've been doing, though, Frank, just training the lads yeah. and selling supplements. That's all I do right. now. So that's in the last couple of years. You yeah. Just like, because... Like we've uh, we've all part of company, and, yeah. uh, but we've maintained the friendship. But it's good to have a laugh in it. It is. Oh, it is. Let yourself. Sometimes yeah. I get to the stage where people go, oh, "Frank," I said, "No, I don't give a fuck anymore." You know what I mean? You get to that stage yeah. in your life. Yeah, and I'm like that. Frank, I can't, I'm you know, if people want to say that oh, he's this. He's, someone, you know, somebody said to me, uh, came up to me and said, oh, "Frankie Adam," I said, "Yeah." He went, you're a vilest. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an case. Like yeah. I, I fell up from over the walls like a dip. Was he being an art case or was he just going like disgusted in your life? No, one of these, he, he knew you wouldn't. I wouldn't swat him. He's just a yeah. dibby, you know yeah. what I mean? Like a, a, a like a man, probably yeah. younger than me, but looked like you know, like a solicitor or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, can I, hi, Frankie, and I said, yeah, and he said, <laughs> he went, you're a vilest, <laughs> uh, most obnoxious, <laughs> insulting. Uh, I haven't had the misfortunes, is it? I said, oh, thanks for that, mate. Go ahead. And I, uh, I said something. I tell her that him off. Then I said, fuck off. <laughs> 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 
Uh, there's some horrible bastards, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, it is. But you've just got, look, as we said before, everyone takes things too serious now. Yeah. And you can, we've gone through it again. You can't say this, you can't say that. People are, I think, are really angry now about anything, lads. Everyone likes to get dead angry, mate. I think there's been, well, I'm not being funny. How many times in a day people like nearly crashed into the back of your car, everyone's snarling. Yeah. Pulling up at the lights. Oh, that's my worst, yeah. the road yeah. rage. The road rage. Um, yeah, yeah. I had a no, fellow on, yeah. yeah. on County Road a couple of weeks ago. I saw this car, it was coming up right behind me. And all that, then he pulled up next to me, trying to get past and all that. So, uh, the next thing, he pulled up next to me. And I went, I pulled up into town. And he was like that, big arcade face. I said, all right, mate. And he went... You were only two and thirteen. That's why I had to get past you. I said, I haven't said anything, mate. Just going to shops. Yeah. And he went, didn't know what to say. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you can't kill, yeah, them, yeah. kill them with kindness. Yeah, yeah. You want confrontation, you know yeah. what I mean? Oh, Everyone's man. like that, though. But I find, like, Everyone wants to be an hard case now. Oh, terrible. Don't they? Everybody, no one wants to go. I'd rather people just said, you know, about me. He's a fucking laughing. Uh, Have a laugh. You know what I mean? But no people want that anymore. Do you want everyone to go, fucking hell, he's, he's fucking hard him. You know, he's mad him. Go, grow up, you silly. Says, grow up in it. When you're other people say, you know what? I go in his gym and we have a fucking laugh. Or I see him, Billy, and he had a good laugh. Or Frankie, he's a laugh, you know. What's yeah. that wanting to be dead's hard? What's that all about, yeah. mate? I know a right few are cases, right? And that my mate Joe, Joe Anaford, nicest fella in the world. Yeah. Fucking right yeah. hard yeah. case, mad had a, a big door for him and a pool of face one and all that. Lads, you couldn't meet him and his wife, you couldn't meet nicer people, mate. I read his book, he's got some. Oh, lads, his book's a belt and he needs to bring it out. Anyone who's anyone who can publish and I've, I, we know, we're after a publisher for him, right? Somebody anyone knows any publisher, he me mates are it a belt of book, right? And what you need to do is get in touch with me. And then we can try and sort them out because the fucking book is about all Liverpool he'd old school. Glad he'd be great yeah. on a podcast. He would he be great, but he won't come on that because he's old but school. Isn't as you say, all this thing, and fellas are like <coughs> that. You talk to someone going, uh, I believe, uh, you know, like the Chicago thing. Yeah. Talking up the side yeah. of the mountain, all, all that. that. Bollocks. So, so yeah. Uh, I believe we can have a go. You know, yeah. do you know, do you know, like there's a, there's a few kids in here that 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 that, that, that can have a go. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like gym. in every gym there is, isn't he? But right, know, few like, Andy kids. Like back in the day, Frankie, yeah. you're from your day up to my day, I knew there was, there, there was fames, and you know, you knew the names of the families. It's it, the fam. It's not like families no more, is no. it? They're not families, is they? No, uh, not right. like back then. No, no. no. You know, I mean, we're not going to name any families, but Liverpool had some fuck fucking big crazy families, family. And you fuck had that, that one Frank. There, I want this one gym. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Bill, you're right there. And there were certain people who you go, oh, swear him, mate. Yeah. Yeah. There's not really all this younger generation. Obviously, there's still the R fellas like us and that who are still about. And you go, fucking hell, he's still an Andy fella, that and all that. But this new generation, they're not about that. It's like, he stabbed him. He shot his oh, mars up. He stabbed him, and that kid slashed him. They're just divvies, aren't yeah, they? Divvies. None of them will go and have a little straight row. When they do, they come with about ten lads and do yeah. some kids. Forty in. fellas to do someone else. Yeah, and then everyone right. thinks that kid with all his mates in an hard case, and he get this reputation. Yeah, ten fellas. It's all changed. All it's all bollocks. Yeah. Back in the day, mate. You know, I had a fucking couple of straighteners. I'm no hard case, but I had a couple of straighteners. Yeah. And some have never come off too good. Some did. That's why I've got fucking teeth like our fucking dog, the bottom <laughs> ones, mate. <laughs> fucking teeth like his year two have got at the bottom of fucking row, mate. Because it got knocked fuck yeah. out of me. But fella. people don't do that no more. They don't have a scrap. I had a mate of mine. He was working <clears> in a fucking, uh, I can't really say, the build society you now. Anyway, yeah. wanted to be a comedian. So, uh comes to me house and all that. I phone him up and said, yeah, I'll write a script out and he's working now as a comic. Yeah. So, uh, so he says to me, do you know so-and-so? He's mentioned this comic from Manchester. I said, yeah, I know him. Yeah, he's a good lad and all that. Oh. He said, Frankie, he said, uh, did you get stabbed? So I said, when? Oh, no, just something stabbed. Yeah, why, what's up? <laughs> he went, <laughs> He told me, he said, Frankie Allen. <laughs> this is Who told you this? The, this is the, the lad the told kids, me yeah. what he did. Say, oh, yeah, go ahead. Well. He said, Frankie Allen, he said, that he was working on his club and he called his fella a baghead. <laughs> he said, the fella jumped up and stabbed him. 
He said, well, Frankie had a knife in his shoulder. And he, he just carried on. Oh, fucking hell, that's I went, <laughs> fuck off. I said, are you for fucking real? Yeah. He went, that's what he said. He just said to the fella, you soft. Carried on telling jokes. He said, he walked <laughs> out the club. He had it like the angle of the night. Oh, right. I Throw went, a butty oh, on a walk. Oh, no, 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 no. I said, this is fucking just <laughs> getting fucking ridiculous. You know, people exaggerate, yeah, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Telling yeah. stories. Sell, sell it, sell it. I don't, because I don't think he's oh, heard this once. God. I heard it years ago, right, and I had a little chat with him. Yeah. Tell him yeah. about the time you were working in speaking. Was it the audience or the flying shows or the Fox or one of them? Oh, yeah. And the Elvis fella. <laughs> the agencies then would they would only give me work in rough places. But this girl rang me on the agency, she said, Frankie, I've got you this nice uh, it's a restaurant. Yeah, <laughs> in, speak. in speak. I said, I don't know any restaurants in speak. <laughs> anyway. Driving fucking to, uh, going to speak anyway, coming down like fucking Anyway, look, I said, This is the fucking flying saucer. <laughs> rough as fuck. <laughs> yeah. It had been bombed the night before, petrol bombed, all black outside the window. The window was gone. Thousands of dogs walking around with their tails up, big packs of dogs. An old <laughs> car with no wheels. Uh, Eddie de Grasse and all that. Yeah. It, 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 yeah, your car your numbers gap. up and all that. Oh, fucking terrible. Anyway, I knew this. He pulled up in the car park in the little car. And uh, a fella from Birmingham. And he was an Elvis Presley impersonator, you know. Yeah. And I got there early. He was there early. So, walked over so we was gone. on first, you or Elvis? Elvis was on first. Yeah. So he goes, all right, all right, you know, when he's talking about, all right, Frankie. So I said, how's it going? He went, looking okay, no, up, Frankie, don't like the look of this. I said, <laughs> do you know them? I said, a lot of the people, they were running there, yeah, they, you know. <laughs> you know hmm. Anyway, I said, come on, get your gear, it'll be sound, let's go in. So as I walked in, there was loads of lads in the corner, all on the spliffs and all that. And this lad kept coming up to me and he was putting chewing gum on the back of my neck and on my back. You know, like, what just, for? just dickhead, you know, yeah, testing the yeah. water. So, he come up and he's putting his chewing gum on me, fucker. Anyhow, I, was, I walked over and he said, what are you fucking doing? I said, fuck off, you're soft. And his mate started laughing a little bit. Then he were all right then, you see. Yeah. And he was testing the water. So, we're in the dressing room. So the comp here comes in and goes like that. So he says, put Elvis on first. So he comes out and he's doing Elvis. These lads are all <laughs> echoing him. You soft. <laughs> <laughs> you know, fuck it, dickhead and all that. <laughs> so he went, give me a bit of order, please, lads. Give me a bit of order. <laughs> you might like this one. <laughs> oh, man, they're sitting there, a fella going like that. He needs a belt that soft. <laughs> ah, <laughs> hey, come out. His bottle's completely gone, yeah. terrified in his dressing room. So it comes to the end of the night. He was supposed to go on twice, but he would only go on once. And the fellow wanted to chip him and said, pay him. I said, he, he's scared in case it goes off. So I said, look, I'll walk you to your car. And then think, anyway, so me and the, the manager walked him to his car. But only walked him halfway across the fucking car park. Got back in. And I was just getting ready to go back on and do the last spot and all that. And I, I was shot. I thought, well, sure he had screams. <laughs> and he'd left all his gear on so he could make a yeah. quick exit, all the Elvis gear on. And we ran out in the car park, and his fella's got him like that. Going like that. <laughs> like a windmill, you know. <laughs> like that. So I was, oh, no. Then all these lads come out. I like, what the fuck's this? And I, so I said, get in my car, <laughs> get, get in my car. So he's got all the Elvis gear on and all that. And this fella shouted, he's a zippy, he's a zippy, you know, like, <laughs> got him in the car. And I said, listen, I'll come back. He said, Frank, you're all right, you don't have to come back, just do one. So I had to take him to McDonald's somewhere, and we had to go back at one in the morning and get his car, you know. <laughs> but, you know, it's it, tight, and, but the city yeah. gets a bad name, you know yeah, what I mean? And, yeah, but mate. little things like that, there are a lot of divvies going, yeah. like rats around, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And that's what, like, puts it, like... It's down really, isn't it? It's like, get you a, a bad name and stuff. I mean, some of the lads are great. I mean, I did Opportunity Knox, 1987, you know, and uh, 16 million people watched it. What and channel I'm, was that on? BBC. So, going out live, so I said to the girl in, in the BBC, in Studio 8, big studio, I said, have you got any zinc, love? I'm on in 20 minutes. I'm a bit nervous, and she went, the bar's closed upstairs, so she said, come with me. 
So walked over to this fire escape, jumped the door. She said, look at that, the Surrey Tavern, it was called, the big pub. Go over there and have a drink. I'll keep this door open for you. Then you're on then, live. I said, all right, sound. So I ran down the stairs, ran over. My suit on, bow tie it was then and all that. Ordered a double brandy. I had it and I felt great. So there was a fella standing next to me. And he was just a little fella. And he's looking at me. And I knew straight away he was a scout. He's looking at me. And he's like that, looking like that. And I went, and he went, all right. I said, all right, mate. So the next day, his mate come over. He went, <laughs> all right, lad. He said, how many of us is this, D? I said, just me on me own. Why, what's up? We've been on the air all day. He touched the bear's ass. He said, we're fighting these fellas over there in the corner. All these fellas were over in the corner, like the foreign fellas. I don't know why they didn't like it, you know. I said, no, I said, listen, lad. I said, I'm on a fucking cell here, man. We break of a life. So I said, 16, 17 million people going to be what's going out fucking life. I said, that's in 10 minutes. I've come over, it's a baby. Then I've gone. And his mate went, fuck the cell here, lad. There's only two of us. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, that. Yeah. I went... You're fucking kidding. But you know the way you think like a scouser? Yeah. I went, I can't leave them on a the fucking hole to get a... You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I said, I'm always good doing... I said, stay there. Anyway, I went over to these lads and I said, excuse me, my friend and all. I think they were like, you know... I said, my friends, they're too much think they're very sorry and all that. Went back. What happened, Frank? I said, oh, it's all quelled. Don't worry, they're all right now. Yeah. There's no snarl and all and his mate went, what did you say to you, Frank? <laughs> I said, I told him you were uh, from Eitan and that he didn't want to know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but they are crazy. And sometimes you're proud of them, you know, yeah. different places where, but a, a couple of places I've been and I met a couple of fellas in, a, in Southampton and I said to this fella, you know, what are you doing down? And he went, uh, well, we burst a couple of drums, you know what I mean? Oh. Well, and you go, oh no, you know. Yeah. And the Everton fans, Everyone, everyone's terrified of Everton fans. Ah, down yeah, South, yeah. Got a clue. When we were down in Portsmouth, we were in a place called Portsmouth, and I got talking to these lads, and it, it, there was a bit of a thing. He did it. Scousers, he said, No, well, why the lads don't like it? Frankie, the manager was telling me, uh, The Everton fans come down here to cause murder, you know. Yeah. So I got talking to this fella. And all the other fans, the years ago, they always used to be tooled up, didn't they? But they were all the original shoplifters, yeah. weren't they? They used yeah. to go to fucking away they're matches. All, they're all the original the grafters, are And a like, fella said to me, then he went, Frankie, can you tell me this, just one question? I said, what is it? He said, how can a man take a sharpened blade to another man's face? I went, I don't know, I said, you know. I said, I'm not being funny. He said, you know those lads... I think his mate got caught up, you know, like, yeah. those lads. So, you know, if you met them, it'd be, it'd be sound, you know. Oh, <laughs> God, can you say that? It's sound, you know, just like his was, mate. What do you mean? He said, he'd do anything for yeah. you, but he would, you know. I said, yeah. oh, I said, just, I can't fucking explain that, you know. But, like, I was never into footy, you know what I mean? <laughs> me dad was, me dad was a proper staunch red. I think I was the biggest disappointment to my dad going, because yeah. I got into, like, weights and bodybuilding. You know, we started buying his magazines when I was 14 I'd be like that me head in the magazine reading the bath training and all that and my dad would go to me you got your fucking head in them newsy books again and it used to <laughs> bear me cap out you know what I mean yeah. he'd go wish you would have fucking studied like that when you go to school you take fucker and I'd be just like that reading and reading but I never got into the footy side of things me you know yeah. I played it in school and that with the lads but I was yeah. never like oh let's go the match the way I knew a couple of kids who turned into like footy hooligans and all that. I could never see the point in like, you're from like Manchester, so I want to fight you yeah. because I'm from Liverpool. I don't see the point in all yeah, that, lads. Half an hour away. Yeah, it's I just, just don't see yeah, the point in it, Frank. A lot of people take it too yeah, seriously. Yeah. I don't think it's like that no more. Though, no, it? it's not. It's, it's yeah, not everything's as bad changed, as what it was. Yeah. Yeah. No, I've done I've, I've your shots. I've never yeah. been a big fan of no. football. But I had I mean, mates when I was years. growing up, you know, like you'd be going into town. Yeah. And you'd be looking around for birds, you go, oh, she's nice over there. And yeah. They weren't interested. And they were standing at the bar and you go, yeah, uh, fucking yeah. hell. Uh, are we away somewhere? Or uh, yeah, is the match yeah, on the yeah. celly? And, uh, what's the matter with you? But I remember, yeah, this is one of the things. Like, we went to Sowie one time, right? We all bunked off school. And we goes to Southport and that. 
And um, we all goes up to Sowy and then all the footy players used to live in Sowy, didn't he? Yes, sir. So it all gets off the train and we're fucking walking along Lord Street. And here's Peter Beardsley. Remember oh, Peter, yeah, Beardsley? Peter Beardsley? Yeah. So he's with his two kids and everyone went, Here's Beardsley, here's Beardsley. Peter, Peter. And he, you know what? When you think back, it was fucking our ass. And he went, All right, boys. And then someone shouted, You're ugly cunt. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Fucking hell. I must when you think about it. But you're thinking, horrible, yeah. He was with his and two kids. Like yeah, day he day used to day call day him day. the hunchback yeah. and all that. And you think, oh. He was with his two kids, you horrible little bastards. You know what I mean? But. Yeah. I suppose when you're a kid in the when 80s kid, and that, you know. Care. It's like, do you remember that one when you were a kid shouting after the half fellas in the street? Yeah. Go on, you're yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, I, was yeah in, I, was in, I was in Walton Prison getting an interview off uh, Professor Green, right? Yeah. And he's walked in, he's got his hair all white and he's come in to do this this documentary and uh, he has to come into the visits and, and all the lads are in there, you know, they, 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 you, you won't know because you haven't been yeah. away, but you'd have to sit in this visiting room all waiting, but you can see through the door and have a little look. And I'm in the, we had, we had to go in this room by our shelves and I'm sitting, it was me and him. And I was excited, you know, because I'm sitting down and I'm having this yeah. little interview. It's all about this this documentary about this movie. And uh, I'm wondering what he's going to say to me. And I'm sat down and the door opens and he walks through. And then I've heard this kid through the door because you can show the door. Yo, Professor Bollocks, fucking... Show your fucking ass out, you fucking funny. Oh, oh, that's heavy, but he was walking People towards you. Know, oh, like, you can't even fucking say yeah. nothing, can you? No. As you say, you don't realise, do you? When I mean, humour, being funny, it's very cruel. Yeah, yeah, you know all about it. Well, that, I'm Frank, the cruelest alive. Oh, yeah. I'm the cruelest alive. That's <laughs> why. Hell, that's why I get like, I'm always, made, you know, get me head done, get all stuff. I can't afford to look old. Every time I go out, even on Saturday, there's a fella there and he had grey hair and I think he was with his family. So I went, not long now, mate. Yeah. You know, they're feeding the horse, they're getting ready to drag you to spring water and all that. <laughs> he put his head down. Then I went, go towards the light, go <laughs> towards the light and all that. What do you think about it? It is very cruel, isn't it? Yeah, what about... But humor's cruel. Yeah. But what about this, these new... There's bars set up like... Yeah, we're going back again, aren't we? But bars set up... We call funny girls or something. And it's all gays. One of the lads was telling me, yeah. yeah. And what do you do, Frank? You walk in and you'll be with your bird and the mar and all that. Or whatever you go. I think a lot of girls go with them. And they just come up and just rip you. They, they, oh, they, yeah, Karen's auntie. Yeah, I don't know what the. It's, it's, it's I think there's one down. No, oh, there's yeah, one no, on down by the dock. On the telly. There's and one I in think, Manchester at restaurants. Yeah, yeah. Money, and you have a scran, and he rip fuck out of you, mate. And you just sit there. That's personal, that mate. And I tell you what, I believe they call you to fuck. You know, yeah, you know being like you know the way the bitchy and that kid. I believe they well, absolutely led you, mate. But people like it. Yeah. It's funny and weird, isn't it? Yeah. As you say, it's very cruel. But things are changing all the time. When we were kids, we were doing that to our fellas and all the shouting and Peter Beersley and everything. But <laughs> I suppose now, yeah, it's, it's it's I don't know. It's although it's the woke has ruined everything. People are kind of rebelling against yeah. it, aren't they? I mean, he was a fella by us. People are laughing. He lived in Ireland, <laughs> right? And he was called. He sold hot dogs by the match, right? Uh, and he was one angry fucking mate. Remember the all hot dog stands? Yeah, he yeah. sell the hot dogs. And all you go, you, you just, sometimes you look back, you terrorise people, didn't you? Oh, yeah. So you go, should we go for a legger? A legger, remember? Oh, your yeah, Yeah, where are we going? Who should we knock on the door? And you terrorise them, mate. And you just open the fucking letterbox, he was an all hot dog man with bins on. He's probably fucking bad at age, Billy. I don't know the letterbox, <laughs> and I go, in that mad voice again, hot dog! <laughs> like that kid, and he would come out. And the cunt could run and he would chase you for miles. Oh, and if he got you, yeah. he'd knock fuck out of you, mate. Like just you. doing things like, imagine some kid now, you're in there watching the telly with your um, your kids and that. Some fella flips the letter, kids flip the letter, and I go, what the fuck? You know, you know, you know, the fuck in it. Can have a deal on you. You cunts, wouldn't you? But you were horrible, lads. I mean, people say kids were horrible, but kids have always been horrible. Yeah. Isn't it in a different way? We were horrible in a different way. And every time you'd see the poor bastard, he'd be going to fucking Grady or something. You go, there's hot dog there. We're hot dog! You know, with some mad voice. And he, he didn't get any peace. There were certain people in every neighbourhood that didn't get any peace. I don't think none of that goes on no more. Where There was always the local weed. We used to have a, a fella called Zaddy the Tramp. 
And uh, he had to probably now you'd look at him, you'd, you know, we were only kids and he used to have this big fucking long mac on and little cap on, like a sailor's cap yeah. on, curly grey hair and, you know, just tears and food all over him and you wouldn't see nothing. And we'd, we'd, we'd run past him, we'd go, Harry, you tramp. And, he'd, you know, we'd, he'd give it like, the half, chase your yeah. stuff and just have his little cane and... But now, yeah, you're right. It's probably no. I was like, <laughs> yeah, and I was like Harry the Tramp last week. I tried to grow me hair. You didn't see Bill and I had this. Fuck, it didn't grow there, right? It just grew on the back. And if you'd have seen with a blue Betty pen like that in the betting shop, you know it's used that greasy, greasy yeah. owl fucker. Because always when you go to Betty, right? There's always some fellow with an owl greasy head. That's his hair's gone, hasn't it? It's gone too long. But he's hasn't got hair this at on the top there. He's got the fucking sunroof going on, or the fucking, yeah. you know, he's got the barcode, and he'd be like that with a little fucking blue pe- Betty pen, won't he? <laughs> you think, you greasy gun. My mate, my mate went to me, fucking hell, lad, the kid. I was bending home, but passing him the drum, and he went, he's funny, my mate, like in Paul, and he went, the fucking kid, <laughs> you look like you're right now, bets in the Betty there. You're just gonna be, get your hair cut, I thought, it's not going too well, this fucking, I'll get my hair cut, mate, but. Fucking hell, time comes quick, doesn't it, lad? For Things everyone. It's changing all the time. Yeah. I mean, probably you don't know. Maybe in a hundred years, all this woke stuff has gone. Because I think it's on its way out now, anyway. People do you reckon? I think it's getting worse, though, Frank. No, I think it's getting. Do you? I, I mean, hope so. I, I do a lot of these things called cameos. Yeah. What they are, film, and you know, the film does on Queen's Cross. You know, does yeah. as well. You, you make a film and you get paid for it, and you know. They get older with Frankie, and I, I'm going like that. All right, B- uh, Billy, it's your birthday today, mate, isn't it? Yeah. And you want to hear some of the things? We have to, you know, I've had one like a fellow coming on it to Eddie from all over the UK. Yeah. All right, Eddie, your birthday's your fault. You're all the very best. Uh, I believe you're going to Benidorm again. What you didn't know last year when you were playing pool in Benidorm was that your beard was getting goosed on the beach and all. Oh, wow, mate. And I go, is this a joke or... Yeah, and they, have they sent you that script, they Frank? They send you the script. Hey, yeah. A lot of them, and a lot of them say, like, gay things, and I have to say, no, we're not doing that. Yeah. I've never had anyone, like, a racist thing. Yeah, yeah. But I have had one that's gone... Um, yeah, because that's the call, is uh, Yeah. And they send us from for the Bertie. Uh, hey, Eddie... Hey, you've just bought a big uh, Range Rover. You think you're a big fucking uh, arcade drive down the M60, and I, and then you've gone like that. You think you're this, and you're, you think you're not a Jaeger and all that. Yeah. And then do you want to meet to say, wait, till I get older. You oh, mate, that's I've that's, got, that's, I said to Will, no, that's no, not no, no, funny no, about no. that, lad. No, but it's for they think it's funny. You see, yeah. yeah. But I'm not a fucking arcade. Imagine if the fella goes. I've never fucking heard of this fella before in my life. <laughs> I don't know he does funny things like that. Yeah, yeah, and The yeah. next thing is, you sit yeah. at the fucking lights, the back of your head comes yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I always say to Will, just try and keep it as nice as possible. And, you know, there's some horrible, there's one fella come on and he went, happy birthday, Eddie. Get rid of that uh, hole in your fucking fence because I know one of your lads put his knob through the fence. I went, oh, no. Yeah, some of it's not funny, is it, mate? Some people have got a very yeah. weird idea yeah. of what's funny, what's not funny. Just, do you think being vulgar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that's about it, really, isn't it, yeah. mate, with things. And what it is, everyone's different. I always say to people, anyone who criticises me, there's a comedian going around, oh, he's still working now, Jimmy Cricket. Have you ever seen him with the wellies? That Irish fella, he's still, still alive, alive that fella. Still alive. And he's going Left around. and right on the welly. And his gags are fucking stupid. No, the material like something out of a Christmas oh, cracker. Mate, he's, he was terrible in his terrible. day. Terrible, and he's going. But he's getting laughs in certain audiences because he's so silly. But what people don't realise, it's his character that's getting the laugh. Now, I had a fella, I won't mention it, he was a Manchester comic. And he came up to me after the venue, and we were in Liverpool, and he was on with me. And he went, Frankie, how does that work, Frankie, when you first come out? I said, what do you mean? He said, you come out, you go, ah... Oh. Look at him, I've seen you hanging around children's playgrounds. Uh, <laughs> ah, that's right. You're hanging around the bouncy castle and all that. I went, we're just doing it and all that. He went, I'm thinking, Frankie, you've changed in my attitude. I said, what do you mean? Do you reckon I'll get away with that? <laughs> I'm a very good sight, like. I don't know, I said, I've never done nothing like that before. So I said, oh, well, fucking, would you mind? I said, I don't give a fuck. Just do it all. <laughs> what do you want? He said, so what do you do? I said, come out, have a look around and go, look at this big fat 
there. I've seen you hanging around children's playgrounds. And he went, gets a fucking good laugh, doesn't he? <laughs> and I said, yeah. He goes on the Highfield Tenants Club in a swan, you know, Naughty Ash. Yeah. There. And it was a few years ago, he was on with four strippers. He was emceeing it and all that. <laughs> he come out, one of the lads I know him from the swan, our case, <laughs> sitting there, he went, hey, you, you fuck. <laughs> Yeah. Before he even said the playground, I fella walked, walked, bang like that. Yeah, gone. Wow. Yeah. But, Frank, you know comedy, right? No being a comic. Do you sit there before you do a gig, Frank? And do you plan the gig, lad, or do you just go bang, 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 but bang? It, you've got an idea. Yeah. You see, my audience that comes to see me, they're all paying. They all know what I'm about. Yeah. Yeah. So there's no chance of anyone really saying, oh, you shouldn't have said that because they want, they want you to go further and further. Yeah, yeah. And they shout, now go over the top, Frankie, so, and all that. So I've got a good idea what to do. What I do sometimes, it's like we've done a show in um, Newcastle a couple of weeks ago and it was in Gateshead. Yeah. Now, the night before, we done a show in Whitehaven, which is on the coast, and it was a huge marquee, and all these lads, there was about 400 lads there, all Frankie Allen fans, and he wanted it. You know, you're slagging the mates down and all that yeah. stuff. You scruffy, watch yourself on bonfire night, you filthy <laughs> and all that. You must have a few quid, you don't spend your money on clothes. Look at the nose on you, you and your mates the same, stand back to back, you'd be a fucking pickaxe, all the lads were in fucking bulk and all that. So... When we went to Carlisle, they were a different crowd, yeah. really. Yeah. They weren't as rough. So what do you do? Do you know? But what I've done when I went on the first taste, half, change I started it. savaging this lad. And I was, well, that's not working, this. Yeah. You know, getting laughs, but not as much as the night before. Because they were nice people. They were a nicer. Yeah. Like, so I was doing two sessions. So I said to me, lad, I'm going to take it easy. And in the second half, I went down and done a few bit of stupid stuff. You know. Yeah, so you read like, your audience read then, them. Frank. So I've done my Wigan routine where I said, I was in Wigan the other day, you know, and I, and I, I said to the girl in the cake shop, how much is it? She said, all the cakes are a pound. <laughs> and I said, bloody hell. I said, what about that one there? She said, that's five pound. I said, yeah. She said, that's Madeira cake. <laughs> See? Stupid joke, that's my dear yeah. cake, it's oh, Madeira, okay. Madeira oh, cake. That yeah. I didn't get off of me, Billy, right that? now. Yeah. Madeira cake, yeah. Madeira, that's Madeira oh, cake. Oh, okay. Madeira. <laughs> you all went to fucking bulk. Yeah. So I said, yeah. Yeah. And then I said, Fra- Billy would have been yeah. like well, that then, wouldn't he? Yeah. So, and then I done, you know, walked in a shop in Wigan and I paint on my hand and I said, uh, hey mate, have you got any tapes? You know what? He said, what do you like? Tapes or video yeah. tapes? <laughs> video tapes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're all in bulk, so I said, do you like the silly stuff? Okay, so you can go out, so Frank, dropped, on stage and read them. Dropped all what you, some people yeah. might say, the vile yeah. stuff, the insults yeah. and all. Yeah. Dropped it all. In the end, I was doing jokes about uh, my little uh, nephew. He said, Frankie, Uncle Frank, will you get me? I like bumblebees. So, will you get me one for my birthday? I said, fuck it. And I went to the pet shop. I said, hey, mate, you sell bees? He said, fuck off, we don't sell fucking bumblebees. I said, there's one in the window, mate. <laughs> See, <laughs> yeah, all, yeah, all yeah, yeah. Fucking, but you all love the yeah, silly stuff. The silly stuff. So I've got so much material yeah. in my mind. I said, all right, drop all of the heavy gear. Yeah. Just so you know, you read them, lad. No, you read them. I've went, on, I've, watched, I've been a few times, and it's like it's fucking hilarious. It is. It's yeah, it's different. Yeah, different yeah, yeah. When you're on the stage, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, because you just everything just slips into place. You become a certain pet. Become a different person. But the silly stuff, and they love the silly stuff. Yeah. So as I'm, t- what I do, I'm telling jokes, but as I'm telling the joke, I'm thinking, like a computer going through yeah. years and years, and going, oh yeah, they've just gone for the year. So you know what to give they've them gone next, for lad, the yeah. bumblebee. It's an art though, isn't it? It's yeah, an art, isn't it? Just picking out. Yeah. Just like a boxer might be boxing. Yeah, yeah. And he's going playing yeah. songs yeah. yeah, he knows, okay. doesn't he? Yeah, he knows, lad. Yeah, he knows. Yeah, a little bit of knows. candy starting. Yeah. So a little yeah. bit of Barry White's on after that yeah. one. Yeah, I do a Chinese routine. And my lads always say to me, Dad, it's... For Chinese people? No, no, a Chinese routine. Oh, yeah. You know, I do a Chinese restaurant. Okay. And I'll tell you that now, but my lads always say, Dad, drop that. He yeah. doesn't like it. He said it's too weak, what we call weak. Yeah. It doesn't work in a lot of places. Yeah. But when we've done that in Newcastle, we did like the soft, soft stuff. I, I walked out and I said, I was in a Chinese restaurant and a fellow, he was eating these sweets. I said, what are you eating, mate? He went... It's Haribo. 
Harrible. How do you a fucking ball? Yeah. Then I said, uh, I said, I've got something stuck in my throat. He went, you're choking. <laughs> I don't get these jokes, yeah. lad. Choking. I don't. Not the serious, you know. The, uh, oh, show, yeah. yeah. And uh, this meets rubbery. I'm glad you like it. You know, uh, and all yeah. that. <laughs> and all that. And, uh, <laughs> Where was that in? Newcastle. Right, silly cunts up there for Newcastle. <laughs> but they like are. Us, lad. No, we're not yeah. saying the silly cunts. Yeah. But they love the silly stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, we'd be the killer, Me and Billy be fucking gozzy <laughs> while we're sitting here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's he saying, mate? <laughs> but did you get that one? Because a lot of people, leave, a lot don't get the Haribo thing. Did no, you get it? I didn't get it. Well, Haribo's the sweets in yeah. Haribo. 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 But as Johnny fellow was saying, it's horrible. So he went, it's Haribo. Oh, wow. <laughs> <Right. laughs> I wouldn't have got it, Frank. Yeah. A lot of people still don't yeah, get that. Yeah, yeah. And my lad's always saying, Dad, drop that Chinese yeah, routine. It's, like, it's fucking crap. Big shout out to Will for dropping yeah, that Will Chinese dropping routine. Yeah. But. <laughs> Non-racist. I'd done it. I'd done it in Newcastle. And I thought, if it brought the house down, I thought, what was going You can't. Yeah, yeah. You can't. Even all the years I've been doing it, you can't really. There's no general rule, you know. But when I went that gaff that you was on for a bit, lad, I went, what is it? What was it called in Waterloo? What was it called? The I Laughing Lounge, yeah. yeah. I went there, right, and he was two good lads on, yeah. right? But I'd had a few bevies, and this one fella come on, and Frank, he was shite. But I was screaming off him because yeah. he was that shite, and he went, I'm glad someone like, <laughs> you know what I mean? But he was that crap that I was screaming, laughing, and he, he was laughing then because I was laughing. He went, fucking hell, mate. He went, are you down a hole there? You're that deep, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I thought he was funny, but people didn't act that night. People were more so, you know what they were copying Paul Smith? No, I think Paul a lot of lads now comic. copy Paul, though, yeah. don't they? He's His sense of humor, he's a very good comic, but a lot of lads are copying Paul, and that's what it was. It was like Black Pauls, and I thought this kid yeah. was really original. And he had that, you know, like where he tells a joke and he pauses. And no one laughed when I kept laughing, mate. But I was the only one. I was revied. I was the only one laughing. I thought he was fucking great, mate. It's a funny thing, really. I mean, But everyone's got a different humour, haven't they, lads? Yeah. I mean, I've had a couple where the first half have been a bit like, oh, what's going on here? Like that one I told you about yeah. South Shield. But 99% of places now, the stuff I do, I think people have been deprived of it for that long because of the woke stuff. Because they've been brought up in schools yeah. and a family. The only comedians I've ever seen are these people who are dickheads on the telly. Oh, Michael McIntyre, lad. I hate him, lad. So what happens is they've never seen a normal comic like the parents used to see. They're yeah. not used no, to it. No, no. So when they, I went to Warrington... You're not going to see it, though, Frank. Where are you going to see it? You're not well, high, lad. There's only me, yeah. really. Chubby Brown. Paul Smith to an extent, but he's a bit different. He's like a yeah. good alternative. There's a handful really who are yeah. doing it now. So there's people who are growing up and they've never seen what you'd, you'd call now an old-fashioned comedian. Yeah. Someone who picks on the crowd and he's blue. Yeah. He doesn't. Oh, no, he doesn't. No, you know, John Bishop's that. Like, you know what, though, to be fair, they go and watch him. Yeah. And I was in stasis. So Must really. have been a fucking free ticket, Bill. You're not paying <laughs> to watch him. That <laughs> was a free beware. Like, come on, mate. Well, oh, you know what I did? I can't lie. I did find him. Oh. I did find him fucking funny. Like, when I done a show in Warrington and all these young lads were there, it's only about 16 and yeah. 17. Anyway, that announced to God. I was on stage and I said, fuck, this kid's a fucking... And he was, going, he, was, he was like that. He was like banging his head on a thing. So when the MC came in, it was just before me and Will started working yeah. together. What do you mean he was years. banging his head though, just Frank? Just like, like as though he was having a fit. Oh, you know? yeah, laughing. Yeah, he was laughing, oh. but I didn't know a fit. I said, yeah. is he all right? And when I came in, <laughs> <laughs> I the fella said, oh, no, what it is, Frank. He said, these lads, the young kids, they've never seen. Yeah, that's true. And yeah. all they do all day is take the yeah. piss out of the mates. Yeah. yeah. But they've never seen anyone doing it like, to the extent bang, that you bang, do bang, it. Yeah. So they, they, they're all absolutely in fucking bulk. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? But you're right there, though. They're not going to see, like, if you watch that, like, I know going back to him, that Michael McIntyre, hello, you know, and all that. And, like, people are crying, laughing. He's only said hello, and you think, oh, fuck off, you little fat fuck. You're not funny, mate. Well, they're not funny, and they're, 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 it's all hello. And I find everyone in comedy now who are on the telly, yeah. they're all upper class. Yeah. Well, There's no one like is, yourself, yeah, lad. It's upper class. class. No. They've got rid of the working class, and all it is is snobs. Yeah, it snobs is, lad, and I don't find their humour funny, lads. Political. The likes, you know. the likes of Frankie Boyle. 
Right. Oh, he's fucking great. I love Frankie him, mate. Boyle, I love, I love Frankie, 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 Boyle, Frankie Boyle, Boyle, mate. Who's that the, Scottish lad? He's yeah, Frankie well, Boyle. Yeah. That's some Scottish lad. Yeah, yeah, the Scottish the, kid. The, the out, you know, going out, out. Mickey, 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 he's good. Yeah, good. yeah. but he's so, our yeah. area, era yeah. though, isn't he, yeah. lad? He's our area, know. mate. A lot of them are just fucking snobs. I watched that uh, live from the Apollo, and this soft can't come on. I just felt like, I don't know, mate. Just has to say that over. Yeah. And that, you know what? We had an argument with a comedian one time. Uh, I don't find women like my missus will go, Oh, she's hilarious, this one. And I'll go, She's not, you know, not. she's not. They're not funny. Women comedians are not funny. And you'd always get one of them fucking yanks. It's like what I don't find funny, even though, you know, me kids are mixed race and all that, yeah. right? I don't find black comedians funny because they come on and everything now if you done this you'd be termed as racist but he goes like a, the white guy worked in the bar and the white guy and you're like ah, and they're all laughing you think oh it's fucking funny <laughs> <laughs> now frankie was saying to me, this black guy well hang on here fucking racist fucker what's <laughs> this all about lads i'll be in copy lane yeah you would lads yeah yeah so i don't understand how comedy's gone but a lot of comedians and like yourself Frankie, I find them unfunny. And when we do a podcast, we haven't scripted none of this. Oh, We've just sense. talked like three mates do and has a fucking good laugh. Yeah. But a lot of these comedians now, I mean, I'm not a comedian. Billy's not a comedian. We're just two scallies. But a lot of these comedians now, I just don't find them like funny lads. As Frankie said, they're not what funny they lads. What they try to destroy is destroy old-fashioned comedians. Yeah. And bring in this new, you know, telling the kids, you've got to laugh at this. And they've got no punchlines. You tell a joke, and there's a punchline at the end of it. And they're going, I worked with a soft cunt in Wales. And he goes, yes. And he goes, uh, have you ever noticed in the, this comes on, I'll tell you now. Anyway. Yeah. Have you ever noticed when you go in the Asda? And you say, excuse me, do you know where the bin bags are? And they go, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> like that. And I go, all right, what happens now? So he goes, and he's going on, and he goes, and uh, I said, yes, where are they? And he went, follow me. I was like, oh, <laughs> 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 they oh, serious, oh, Andy. Do you think they're funny? Oh, like, think yeah. the as well, yeah. Oh. Think the big sign. The terrible Andy, I mean, don't mate. forget, everyone's got different tastes. Yeah. I Maybe can ours is a bit rougher, lad. Some people yeah, might go like that. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. yeah. like, I wouldn't like my kids to see uh, things. But I don't know doing a show when it was an Everton show for the, uh, a few years ago in... Uh, Ellsbury Airport, and the lad who was running, he's got something to do with Everton, and he's, he's, he's put shows on, and they had all the Arn Everton team on, and he had uh, Southall on the goalkeeper yeah. and all them from the 70s, and I was on it, and it, but his bottle was gone because I was on it, you know. Who the committee, this is another no, organiser. Okay. Uh, he had to put me on because the, the manager wanted me there and all that sort of stuff. So it was an afternoon show, and there was a fella sitting there, and he had three kids with him, the kids about 12, 13. Yeah. So uh, he come over, he said, listen, Frank, he said, uh, with another fellow, he said, we're very worried. I said, what are you worried about? He said, we're worried, he said, because there's children in the audience. He said, so um, well, can you alter your act so that you're not offensive? I said, no. Get the kids out. So he said, well, we, um, I'm going to, can you come with me? So I want to explain to the, the fella, you know, that he, he'll have to go with his kids and you tell yeah. him what kind of act you do with But kids. rightly so, you'd get off, Frank, wouldn't you? I walked over the fella. The fella kicked off and said, hey, mate, my kids love Frankie. Yeah. yeah. He said, they made me come today. Yeah, yeah. And the fellow was stunned, you know. Yeah, what I mean? yeah. And then I went, okay. And then they must they underestimate your intelligence. Yeah. They think you're a dickhead. Yeah. And then later on, he come up. He just before I went on, he said, "Frank, you can have a word." I said, "What is it?" He said, uh, "Have you noticed there's a black guy in the audience?" I said, "Yeah." I said, "Do you think I'm a fucking dickhead?" <laughs> They're going to pick on something. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. said, you're going back to the fucking 50s. The yeah, 60s. yeah. I said, fuck yeah. off. I said, I'm not a fucking dickhead. Anyway, the fella, the black fella, was off a ship in Ellesmere Port. Yeah. I gave him a lift to the fucking, uh, back to the ship. Got told to him. I, I'm very good with language. I speak yeah. about five languages, you know. And I spoke to him in French and all that. So I went over to this fella. I said, hey, mate. I said, come here a minute. And I was talking, oh, uh, how did you do that, Frank? I said, they're so easy. They try to pigeonhole you. Yeah, you think yeah, you're a fucking yeah. dickhead. Yeah, yeah. All right, Bernard Manning was a bit like, but nobody does that but stuff. Jim Davidson. Well, I've never seen him live, so I can't hmm. pass comments. I've heard a few things about him. Yeah, he, he, was he, very, got, he got sad. I, 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 racist, I don't like him. He's too racist for me, yeah. lads. You know what I mean? I get turned over and out. Well, we house. were working in South Wales a couple of weeks ago down in, uh, in the States, me and Will. 
And uh, he said, Jim Davidson was on here last week. I said, well, he said, uh, he got here at two o'clock in the afternoon and he was sitting downstairs where everyone walks in and out all day, just sitting there on the couch looking at his laptop. I was weird, you know. What was he doing? Reading Nothing, gags? Just, I don't know. It's just, but I mean, some of them, I mean, some of them are horrible. I told you about that air. Uh, I can't mention the names of the, the, they used to be on the telly, a husband and wife team. Yeah. Comedians? But, uh, no, they had this thing on the television. From Paul Liverpool. Daniels. Do you ever remember it? <laughs> Liverpool. Know. Husbands and wife. Team. Team, the crankies. Fucking that's oh, all I can no, think anyway, of. I can't mention it. He was, say, he was horrible, ain't he? Houston Air, lad. Jimmy <laughs> Cranky, mate. Well, the crankies, oh, remember them? <laughs> Yeah, mate. Oh. Like these to think about him, fucking goose and air, that fella in the crankies, mate. He was a fucking well, I bacon him. I worked with the two of them years ago on the yeah. Yellow Club. They weren't funny, Frank. She's that fucking big, she's tiny. With a little red cap on Jimmy Cranky. Fucking horrible. It is, man. Yeah, it's horrible, isn't it? Was, is, he was all right, he was good. But they, they your husband and wife team, weren't yeah. they? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Anyway. I think we're going to be coming to that. Call it a day. Call it a day. I think we laugh last Yeah, we've had a laugh, haven't we? We've had a laugh. With that. Well, don't don't get offended. Don't get offended. Don't be screaming in Don't comments. be getting offended you know on behalf I mean? of other people getting offended because people are just out having a fucking laugh. And Nobody sh- gives yeah. a fuck. People are trying to pay bills, get a few fucking quid for going holiday or Christmas. No one's asked about, say, uh, <laughs> you know... Have I offended you? That's disrespectful yeah. there for people who've got one fucking ear and not nobody. Yeah, in it, and but all that about why did you, why did you watch to the end if you were gonna sit there and go on comments and cry about the three of us? Should have just switched us off and legged us and said three dickheads them and legged us. That's what I do. With that, good night. God bless. <laughs>